Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays. The Binding of Isaac Antrith Plus Booster Pack Edition. He can't lose. This is the forgotten. He's unlosable. We've proven it. GCNC BVZ4. At this point, you, you always... People are going to think I'm being overly cocky. It's not the case. I promise you, it's not... I didn't make the character. <laughs> I'm just the vessel for the mechanics of the character to funnel through in an increasingly inefficient way every single time, apparently. I love this character. As uh, Rich Boy said, no wait, who was it? Who sings Throw Some D's on it? It was Rich Boy, wasn't it? Give me a sec, this is from an era where my memory starts to get a little fuzzy. Uh, a little fuzzy. Rich Boy, Throw Some D's, yeah. As he said on the remix of M.I.A.'s Paper Planes, I love my girl cause she give me what I want. She can ride in the back or she can ride in the front. Is In this case, his girl is a gun. Her name is Beretta and she's melon farming crazy. And then he goes, grat, grat. Anyway. Hey, uh, fire mines, please don't blow up in my face. But for now, I have to test and see if it will blow up in my face when an enemy gets hit by it. If it merely lights enemies on fire, that's extraordinarily pretty good. Yeah, I love this character. There's no denying. There's a little bit of lower lack of tension, or I guess a greater lack of tension than a lot of characters in this game have. So he is, again, as I've said many times, don't take that criticism as a, a condemnation that this character is like not fun, because it's quite the opposite. This is the best character they've done in 200 years, but... Just a little on the easy side, and as far as I'm concerned, to have any... societally acceptable way to... do things easily, it's fine by me. You don't often get times to take the easy way out in real life, so, uh... I'm gonna uh, enjoy it while it lasts here, because eventually we're probably gonna reach the point where people are like, oh, the Forgotten? He's too easy. I don't know why I, I always have to characterize <laughs> dissenting opinions in that voice. I just about made a very rookie mistake here. I was like, let's use our key to go to the library, and then I realized it's not a library. What my brain did is it, uh, it skipped the critical thinking step. There was a double key room, and my brain just looked at the map. Hmm. Hey, the range up is super nice. Retrovision, who cares? Uh, my brain looked at the map and was like, Two rooms with keyholes, that means one of them has to be a library. That's not true! That's not the way it works. One of them could be a double key room that could be a treasure or a... or a dice room. We didn't have the keys necessary to go to the double key room. As a result, we should save our keys for future usefulness. I'll stand by, I'm gonna keep saying it, and you can feel free to agree or disagree or consider me a traitor to the cause or whatever, but... I still think there's room for a forgotten nerf that doesn't ruin the character. Some of the nerfs in this game's history have given all the nerfs a bad name, okay? Just make it so if you take red heart damage, or bone heart damage, let's say, not even if you lose a whole bone heart container, just if you, if you dwindle a bone heart even slightly, make it so that you lose your deal with the devil lots. It's a acceptable compromise, in my opinion. Now, mind you, I don't have the data to back it up. Wow, that's horrendous. That's great, though. Okay, I don't know how these work together. I'm gonna guess that... Uh, oh, it's so good. You get the flourish with it. It's actually also very good, and that one heart healed us for two somehow, even though let's eh, not worry about it too much. Um, yeah, I think it's acceptable anyway. Um, I really like Cursed Eye as this guy. Apparently, I've had it a lot actually. I had it on Kate's stream yesterday as well. That was foolish. Um, I was told that the Cursed Eye with melee still gives you the... I don't know whether you'd call it an ability or a curse. I guess it depends on your perspective. But it gives you the uh, ability to teleport. Let's just call it the effect. Let's be agnostic of our feelings on it. If you take damage um, mid-charge, you will still get the effect. Ah, right, okay. Um, of teleporting. Which sometimes might be good and, and sometimes will be bad. 
Whoa! Okay, well... I think I'll just leave like that, just to be safe. Straight up, uh, this... We, we've committed 100% to melee build at the great expense of our non-melee build, because... Uh, our ranged build is gonna be terrible now. With Cursed Eye. Piercing shots are great, and, and we can get enough damage to compensate for it, no doubt, but... Come on. But uh, our, our melee is going to be very strong, and we're going to desire and endeavor to use our, our range as little as possible for now. Star's card is very good. You can use it to get out of this room, but there's not really much need. Honestly, we're going to crap on most of these enemies. Bosses included. And the, the real problem right now is any enemy that explodes in our face. Like the prom king on prom night. That joke doesn't work at all. <laughs> it's just vulgar. I apologize. Trying to sneak some double entendres past Google DeepMind. Oh, he's done. I actually, and I feel uncreative for saying this, I can't think of what I would really like to get the most here. Um, don't even take these yet, because we can do it like this. Oh, dude, there's some beauties here. Okay, here's what you do. Grab... Grab this. No, but then we... Okay, we have to grab this first. And we'll live. Then we'll grab this and pivot. Then we'll come back and we can be the soul again. And I think we're ready to leave, yeah. But what's cool about this is that this is actually... And we, we've discovered this... This was like in video 2 or something like that. Um, you can actually... Well, we, we still have Horror of Babylon, is this? No, that's the Pact Effect. We have Horror of Babylon if we uh, start the room as the soul and then pivot to being Bone Lord. So absolutely, it's like having an all stats upgrade every single room, more or less. So we're definitely going to do our best to do that. I actually think Horror of Babylon is amazing on the Forgotten because of this. It's always going to be on as long as you have enough spirit hearts to be the soul. Range up. Okay, well we're not going to take I'm excited because I'm not an idiot. The speed down is not good, but... It's not terrible, and you know what? We finally got a useful uh, spacebar item here. In a way, you know, I think the reason I'm always, and by always I mean recently, um, the reason I'm always uh, beating the drum of like we should nerf, ever so slightly nerf uh, the Forgotten, is because I want to play as this character a lot. You know, I, and I want it, it to be guilt free if possible. The best way for that to happen is just make just the, the slightest bit harder, and then I wouldn't feel like I'm kind of deliberately taking the easy way out whenever I play as him, you know? I get the benefit of having the, oh, the opportunity to look at all these cool synergies and engineer them for myself without feeling like I'm, uh, you know, cheating viewers out of the chance of a potential loss. But I don't think anyone's worried about that just yet, but I'm just saying, like, with a long tail approach. Okay. Every once in a while, I'm going to come back and take a peek at how our ranged unit is doing. Ooh, let's go. And just see if uh, they're more viable than they used to be. And honestly, I think the answer to that question may well be yes. They, they might be more viable than they used to be. Always got to be a little concerned in these situations, but for now, no complaints. I got a good feeling. Magic Mush, right there. Four mushrooms is like roughly where I want to be when I'm placing bombs. Retrovision, dude. Classic pill, man. Now this is like... I would like to be my ranged unit, but my bravado is paid off this time and this time only. Hmm, Blood Clot is probably worth taking. Okay, um... So I think you take this first gives you a bunch of... well, it takes you to maximum. You're definitely gonna take Guppy's head, but then we're just gonna take it to reroll it. And we got Guppy's tail, which is amazing. Obviously, like, we're actually inching towards the Guppy synergy, which has not been easy to do so far. Forget the shop, let's get out of town. You know what is nice with this character? I don't know, maybe this character is the nerfed version. But... 
you're never actually safe on HP as a result of the fact that you can only hold six with each character. I think I've said literally the opposite of that <laughs> on occasion. I think I've said you're always safe on HP because you're always going to have some spirit hearts back, but you know, you should know by now. Like, I I'm doing my darndest to, to maintain the veil of consistency here episode to episode but you know I wake up as a different person some days and I'm not even talking in like a ship of Theseus sense you know I'll wake up I you know I finish a show on a Wednesday and I go that was a good show yeah we'll take and then I uh, wake up on Thursday and I'm like why did I say that that was stupid you know it's and I, I don't think it's uh, a sign of like anything Mentally being unawares or or wrong, it's just you know kind of natural in the natural uh, phase of self-reflection, and especially it's in flux when you're playing as this guy, a guy who's only been in the game for you know it's like he's been in the game on a cosmic sense as long as humans have been alive in the universe. It's just a little blink of an eye. So my understanding of the the Isaac environment is very high, but my under well, okay, I'm not gonna flatter myself, but you know what I mean. It's very high relative to my knowledge of this character specifically. Please let me. I just want to go to the room. Whenever I get incredulous now, I use this voice. It's a bad habit. Well. All is forgiven if we can actually. Ooh, I hate it! <laughs> All is forgiven if we can get the guppy transformation from that curse room. So, wh why is this happening? It's happening because of quad shot, straight up. Now it takes us much larger or much longer to charge our shots, and as a result, um, we spend a lot more time being in the period where we're. It's plausible for us to be teleported. We needed that HP, by the way. And then, use this. We got nothing out of it. I guess maybe enemies don't count as bosses for the purposes of this. And I don't necessarily think Spelunker Hat is particularly good. Mostly because I'm right. And it's not. Not bad, but, you know, nothing to write home about. So, how do we work ourselves out of this situation? I think there's, like... There's, there's three different approaches you could take, alright? One of them is... Oh, that's so good. Wait for a, an, an item to save you. So maybe like a substantial tiers upgrade? Yeah, that would alleviate things. And by the way, there's no right answer. There, really, I think the answer basically comes down to what happens to show up in the game. Uh, if we get a huge tiers upgrade and we're able to charge a lot faster as a result of that, awesome. We could also spend more time as the soul. And it's pretty clear, like our soul is not bad. Sure. I mean, we're going to teleport out, so we're not going to take I'm Drowsy, but I wish we could. Conveniently. <laughs> A little scary. Ah, you don't look like Guppy. Get me out of here. And the other one would just be played more consciously. And, I mean, that's probably, like, the best in the sense that it uh, is the one that is most within our realm of control, but... Honestly, like, playing as the, the soul more often also seems like a really good option. The damage output is less, but the risk is also... It, it's disproportionately less, which is good. But for long-distance enemies, or maybe when we're just finishing up a run, sure. Now, Suicide King is uh, potentially an interesting card, but it's a card we can't really use just yet, so... What we're going to do is save this I'm Drowsy pill. This gives us the opportunity to maybe use it on Hush or something. Excuse me. I have botched that miserably. But we have Golden Bomb, so no big deal. Alright, I'm not even going to worry about that single penny back there. That's what we're looking for, you know. We got the best of both worlds. We actually have a run in which, you know, our ranged run is safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our ranged run is safe, and then our, uh... Melee run is incredibly high damage. So I'm a, a pretty big fan of this right now. And by the way, I was wrong. We did get an orbital out of Book of the Dead. 
I'm hoping we can preserve that orbital for a long, long time. Because I think it dies if it takes a certain number of hits. Honestly, we're probably not going to preserve it for a long, long time. Because <laughs> we, uh... I don't know if you noticed, we're kind of getting up in enemies' faces on the regular. You know, another way to approach this would just be to make sure you have a full charge when you walk into every room. And, uh, you know, obviously on a room like this, that's not going to do it for you. You know, that's not going to be enough. But on rooms where the enemies stand somewhat close together, it could do it. Well, pays for itself at least. Just want to, like, really, really work to preserve our, uh, our melee HP. Like, the bone hearts are the, the bread and butter of this run. As long as we have the ability to be in our melee form without being worried about, ooh, uh, like being one hit KO'd, we can pretty much kill any boss in like two charges. It doesn't even have to be two full charges, like two partial charges is good enough. Ooh, it's our first trinket. I'll level with you. I think this is like, except for the all the teleports we did on our last floor, I think this is maybe the best I've played as the Forgotten. I feel comfortable with this character now, and it's it didn't really take that long, I think, but it, for all the, you know, novel mechanics here, it's second nature now to, to switch back and forth most of the time. Not that I don't make mistakes, and that's a good example right there, but eh, unlikely to work. And, you know, I probably should be making the effort to go to our secret room, for example, and, you know, because I said it, I'm going to go back and do it, you know, be the change you want to see in the Isaac world. Hmm. Nah, that's okay. So we need, you know what would be a cool, uh, and this is like so beyond my very meager abilities. What if you had, no, there's no way this will work. What I was going to say is what about an Isaac mod that is like a UI element? Speedball is actually okay here. And this is the perfect setup because we, uh, no matter what, we're probably going to go for the reroll. We don't want Krampus' head, and we don't even want Lump of Coal. We don't even want Book of Belial, obviously, but... And uh, what it does is it shows you, like, the top ten items that would synergize with your run. And this is why, like, you know, making that algorithm, I just have no idea how you would do it. But, you know, you look at a run like this, and you'd be like, oh, what should you, uh... What would be the top ten items? You look over in your top ten most valuable items tracker on the right hand side and you're like well you know you're very strong with melee so getting some extra defense so you can uh, be better up close and personal would be very wise you know what it's actually probably oh no it's probably the easiest mod to make ever because uh, all you have to do is program it to say like brimstone and mom's knife hmm give me the card sure That's like one of those ideas where if you have the talent to make that, please don't. At least don't... Oh, why would you do that? Don't uh, don't dedicate a lot of your time to do it. Instead, take your expertise to Seattle or Silicon Valley and, you know, just make like a high six-figure salary for the expertise that you clearly have. You know, that's... I'm not saying it's an impossible problem to solve. I'm just saying you're, you'd be a very talented individual if you had the capacity to solve it. Maybe I'm being a little bit overly impressed, but I mean, come on. I don't care about playing a blood bank right now. I do care about the hermit card because the hermit card is free boss rush. Like I said, second nature. <laughs> I can't believe it. Like, we've taken a lot of pills. I'm very surprised that there's more of them in the game. 33% deal with the devil chance. So, our, our actual odds of getting a guppy item... Pretty low. Now, there's a mod that, you know, with a little finagling I could make. It shows your deal with the devil odds, and then it shows you your odds of getting a guppy item. You need a mathematical background to come up with it. It's not just, I imagine, number of guppy items... ...remaining in the deal with the devil pool divided by the number of items in the devil pool in total still times 100 and then put a percent sign at the end you know you gotta think about it. some other stuff what are the odds of Krampus showing up what are the odds of just getting a three red chests deal with the devil what are the odds that one of those red chests 
actually contains one of the guppy items. Well, then you gotta factor in the uh, number of items that are still in the red chest pool. I, anyway, I'm probably... I'm boring you perhaps a little bit, but you know, you, you gotta take that risk on any uh, video of this length. Might occasionally get into a little bit of boredom, and that's okay. As if, if even one person out there finds it interesting. Like, I had people making fun of me for talking about, like, tartar control toothpaste, like, finally realizing that that was causing mouth ulcers. And I said, very earnestly, if even one person gets, uh, you know, the value out of me saying that and figures out what's going on with their mouth, then, uh, oh, we should have held one of these when we were doing it, but then I consider it to have been, like, extremely worthwhile. I don't think we want either of those, even though Nun's Habit is obviously good. And I think that that vindicated me right there. I got a tweet from somebody that was like, Hey, I looked at my toothpaste, and sure enough, blue Sensodyne, and I've been having mouth ulcers for years now for no reason. And I was like, dude, you're my dude. You're welcome. I don't, I'm not even going to say I saved you. WebMD saved me, and I just passed the information on, you know? <laughs> But I'm, I'm very happy to hear that. As ooh, you might expect. Okay, so we should be able to kill Mom very, very, very easily. And quickly enough to be acceptable. And in here, sure, why not? There we go. I just wanted to make sure Bob's brain got out of the way. Uh, we'll grab the Polaroid. And then in here, you have to take Nodleaf. Even though, it, like, neither of them are really good. And then I think we'll honestly just go... I just want to see what our... Eh? I haven't been switching back and forth to take advantage of uh, Horror of Babylon, but in my defense, you know, we have 20 damage. <laughs> we killed Mom in one hit. The move. By the way, what I... Oh, it's not an XL floor. Oh, it's a copy transformation. What I need the most right now is if, if you are watching these videos and you're like, why isn't NL doing these unlocks? You know, there's so many unlocks to do for the... to get all the achievements that have come out with the booster pack. I hear you. Please let me know. Because I don't know what any of these freaking unlocks actually are. So I lost my first bone heart in a little while. I don't feel very good about it. But as long as we don't... Let it rattle us too hard. We should be pretty okay. What is, I have no idea. It's pretty rare for me to look at a floor these days and be like, I have, especially with some information revealed, and be like, I have no clue where we're supposed to go. Like, I really thought that would be a good chance. Okay. Honestly, we will take these because there's a chance we'll make it to our hush fight. And and actually desire to do it. Got to play this guy. One of the cool things about The Forgotten is how it's, like, reworked my value propositions. Like, normally in the late game, you're like, oh, it's a judgment. Please don't give me HP. Now you're like, it's a judgment. It's free HP. Now I'm an idiot, and I took that as a spirit heart instead of as a red heart. But, like I said, second nature, dude. All we gotta do is use the hero font as our melee character. Nah, no, it doesn't work. <laughs> gotcha. Made you look. Made you look at the wiki. All right, beautiful damage. Where is the exit here? Probably bottom left, I think. Seems like a safe bet. If only you could actually use Guppy's Paw. It would actually be bad for us in our current situation, but I, I feel like the converter... Oh, wow, it was close, actually. I feel like the converter should work to turn Spirit Hearts into Bone Hearts if you're playing as the Forgotten. Like, I feel like that should be a bespoke synergy. And I also feel like the Potato Peeler should work as the Forgotten. Like, that's... Oh, nice shot, honestly. That's something I have to imagine is, is not working as intended. Just make it take the whole container. Like, don't give him anything for free, but... Uh, hear me out here. Be the soul you want to see in the world. Play this guy. I, dude, super did not mean to take Brother Bobby, but hilariously, 
it absolutely worked out, and we are going to take that. We get Leviathan for a little bit of extra damage. And uh, the whole reason I was going to do this is because we still have the Hero Font card to back us up. Which I'm just going to use right now. Although it's now unnecessary because of Mr. Dolly, but I already put it on the queue in my brain, so, you know, no worries. Um, yeah, that, that was actually really good. And now that we have Ma of the Void, we can actually use it as our melee character. And it's not so much for the HP, although, admittedly, at some point in our... Oh, what? <laughs> at some point in our lives, that may be really useful. It's more for, um... Let's go. It's more for the extra damage. I don't think I'm going to fight Hush. And it's not because I want to rush. It's because we only have one bone heart container left until we get some extra HP. So I apologize if this message gets you down. Then I CC'd every streak that I CC'd around town. Almost just ran right into him. Those flies. Those horrible blue flies. Sorry, you guys watch uh, Spider-Man 1 recently? Something of a scientist myself, etc., etc. I have no problem being the soul for the rest of this game. If that's what the game decides is is my fate, more power to him. You know. Oh, what is that? Like, this, it's rare, and we're about to get Bookworm, too. It's rare, but this is, like, an insanely great uh, run to be the soul. You know, and that was obviously dumb. But we're very, very happy with our wireless service right now. Rerolls, okay. Um, I mean, we do want this. Everything else, uh, we're gonna pick up, and there's a very simple reason for it. If we get more battery charges, we could turn this into a quintuple, uh... ...item room, which is not common. But yeah, this is, uh... It's one of the strongest melee runs we've ever had. And, uh, we can fly with this guy, you idiot. <laughs> Why are you switching constantly? Even on the book room, that was dumb. Um, come on, come on. High Priestess, not worth it. Um, it's one of the strongest runs with both aspects of the character. I guess is what I'm trying to say in, in more grandiose and flowery language, you know? This would be basically a 10 out of 10 with either of the two characters. The fact that we can switch back and forth between them as necessary is... Just the icing on top. I mean, you could reroll that, but... I mean, come on. What's better, one item or five items? Not always perfect in Isaac, but I think I got a pretty good grasp on uh, this decision-making process. So, very good. Probably close to worthless, but, um, you know, it was free. Wheel of Fortune, which I definitely should not have just used for no reason right there. Uh, and then everything else I did. Metronome... Is just bad, I think. <laughs> Certainly worse than the D6. And then Anarchist Cookbook is like... Obviously even worse than that, so... Most of the time. Yeah, should not have walked straight into that. No question about it. So I'm gonna take a little gamble here. And my gamble is that... Judge. I think I'm probably going to be able... To just destroy Isaac by walking into him with melee active but I'll let the game be the judge there we go wonderful choice yeah that'll work and thus my relative lack of concern is vindicated cause we're out of control strong here curse of the Lost. holy mantle is the most game-winning item you could actually get right now, because it means that we're not going to teleport, and we're not going to... I mean, as long as we don't get hit twice on a room, we're good. And we're... There's zero chance we get hit twice on a room right now. Everything dies in, like, one hit. And, dude, give me homing tears, absolutely. Now I kind of want to see how this affects the soul. 
And again, you know, the destination on a Forgotten Run is oftentimes kind of obvious, but it's the journey. And the journey is very interesting. Both Sword Lord and the Flying Crying. I'm trying to come up with some rhymes here. I mean, it is a Flying Crying, but it's not... The rhyme is not that good, you know? They're both... They, they both, I should say, did a lot of great work for us, but... Definitely can't complain about this one in essentially any context at all, sure. Okay, let's do it. We get spun. What's happening? Rate of fire is ridiculous. You know what? Let's try it out. I'm ready. Still actually incredibly strong. I thought it was going to be garbage, but no, that was still very, very good. And what about our soul? What did our soul have? Eh, I mean, it's a, probably soy milk maybe on somewhere somewhere on this one. Or number one. The range did look pretty bad. Great run. That was a, a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps it a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I will see you next time.